mental note, it really does help if you hit record before you start presenting a video. Otherwise you just, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm presenting to myself anyway, but I mean, you literally are. If you don't even bother recording it, you're literally just doing it to the room. Hi everyone, Gareth at QC Tech here, uh, and today we're doing a video uh, looking at the uh, Unify uh, UFP viewport. So the Unify viewport device um, arrived in the post a couple of days ago. It's not a new device particularly, but um, I needed one for a job, so I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd grab one and get it set up and just do a quick video on it first. So the idea is that this you can uh, you can plug into your uh, Ethernet, plug into the network, connect it to the uh, to your Unify Protect controller and you then plug it into a monitor or a TV screen or whatever other output device you want um, and you can configure it to show various camera feeds and, and all that sort of good stuff. So uh, without too much ado we'll get into that just in a couple of seconds. So we'll uh, start with the obligatory uh, unboxing I think here because you know no YouTube video is complete without a, an unboxing. Probably a really nice pull tab on that somewhere that I uh, failed to notice. So as with all the uh, ubiquity stuff, it does look like they're going for a very much a uh, Apple-like finish to all of the boxes. So it, you know, it is really nicely boxed up. Uh, so there's our actual viewport, and you can see in the bottom we have an RJ45 network and HDMI. Oh, and oh, that's a secondary. So that's a um, that's an out. And in the top here we have um, the main in, and you can see that it does say that it's. Uh, if I turn that over. That it takes PoE in as well, so that's good. It's PoE powered. Um, so we'll wrap her off there. Uh, reset button on the back. Looks like that. The little kind of thingy there that makes me feel like it should open. Not going to push that too hard though. Um, and there's a reset reset pinhole on the back there. Okay, so that's the actual thing. What else have we got in the box? Probably lots of stuff that I need to throw away. There is a... Mm, there's a plastic thing with a sticky thing. Ah. Oh. I'm guessing that's going to be fitting it to a wall, maybe. Ah, oh, fitting it to the back of your TV, I think, is the idea with that. So some sort of adhesive pad, because uh, there's a picture of a TV in with that bit there. We have... A HDMI cable, that's a nice little addition. Um, I had been and found a HDMI cable out of my stash, but it looks like I didn't need one. Fairly nice feeling cable as well, that. You know, if you'd like feeling cables. Uh, that's, and there's a slide in wall mount plate there as well. That's going to be what that little notch is for, look. So yeah, so I guess that sits that way round. And that's what that's for, to lock that into place. Cool. That's a shame, that means I can't open it up and, well I probably can still. There's no need to. And then there's, uh, what's this? This is the safety notice. 
and a couple of, I mean, pretty decent actually looking. <laughs> that was perforated. Pretty decent looking uh, plugs and screws and things there. Um, yeah, again, they probably just go in the bin. So, the bit we're interested in is this bit here. Um, I do now need to find a network cable. Here's the one I prepared earlier. And before I actually put this in, I'll just show you where it's actually going. So if I switch over to this view over here. Um, so uh, the, uh, the images on this camera aren't particularly interesting, I'll, I'll give you that. So uh, uh, these are just set up as a, as a test really. This is a Unify Dream Machine Pro um, that's sitting in my, in my cave. You can just see my server rack in the corner there. Um, and that's looking out the front of the server rack, and obviously that's sitting just in front of me here. Hi! Um, so that's what we're going to connect it up to. Uh, if you have a look over here on um, on my Unified controller, so the camera that we were, I was just waving at is plugged into port 5, and you can see that that's on VLAN 400, so that's on the same VLAN as the uh, as the Dream Machine. Dream Machine's down in the, in the cave downstairs. I'm about to plug the uh, viewport into port two. So um, I will do that and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it shows up in the, uh, in the UDM Pro as needing adopting. We are connected. And just so uh, so you know, there's a little little flashy LED on the bottom there, flashing away, doing its thing. Could probably hold that about there, and you can still see that it's flashing away. I'm kind of hoping that in a second we're going to get a notification here to say, do we want to adopt it? And there we are, the uh, flashy light has gone solid. Uh, we've got the ready to add UFP viewport. I'm going to say add. Mm. Ah, now that's interesting. So that's taken me to the Unify network controller. So I've gone to add device. Um, because I'm incredibly grown up, we'll call it Viewing Mac View Face. Sorry, that needs to be ticked and then you hit add device down here. Okay. 
not entirely sure what happened just then. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, view, view face has been adopted. It's a viewport. Uh, it's got an IP address in the correct subnet. We've got the MAC address there. Um, it's connected at a gig, which is uh, which is good. Um, obviously, the cameras that I've got here are all uh, connected at 100 meg, but that's but that's a gig one. Uh, so we'll just have a quick look under here. What we've got under options, we've got the name, uh, current connection status, firmware version, uh, speed, uptime, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, the live view is default. That probably means that I haven't made any views yet, and that I need to make a, a view to uh, do something interesting. General, just literally just got name under there. Manage, we can reboot or we can unmanage. Okay, so not a lot of settings going on here. <laughs> um, but that's okay, I mean, it doesn't have to be complicated, does it? So I think what we'll do now is I'm just gonna go and create, uh, create a view to, uh, to use with this. Um, and then I need to get it plugged into uh, my capture card, I think, and we'll see how it looks from there. So, um, on live view, let's add a view. I'm gonna call this uh, me. And we will... Uh, Drag and drop that camera in. Save it. Perfect, and then we'll have another view. And uh, let's have four cameras, and we'll call it four with three. Oh, no, that's dollar with three. Four with three. And again, we'll just save that. Okay. Kind of hoping now that if I go to here, yeah, we can pick the view. Oh, so what I actually want to look at is, can we do a rotating view? That's updating now, obviously, because I've just changed that. Can we do a view? drag yes yeah, so if I drag multiple cameras so it cycles on I oh, we could do either on motion or on time although bizarrely when I click time the time seems to go away that is a bit peculiar so time let's drop that down a bit if we can can we go five seconds? There we are. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that particularly well. Let's uh, just make that a bit bigger so you've got half a chance of seeing that on the <laughs> on the video. Um, so we've gone for time and five seconds. So let's uh, let's rename that to uh, time scroll, and we'll save that. Okay, so the next job is going to be to. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, that's time scrolling. Of course it is. That's what I've just told it to do. Crying out loud. Um, okay, so the next plan is to get the HDMI connected. I'm going to use this cheap, nasty cable that I've got from uh, from somewhere else, just because it's already open and. Needs to go into there, and then with a little bit of luck, if I switch my view to oh, 
I was hoping too much for that to work straight away, wasn't I? He may have just done a boo-boo. Because the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that this said updating. I noted it said updating after I changed the settings. So I assumed that that was the um, protect equivalent of, uh, of it reprovisioning a switch. I'm just wondering whether it was actually updating the firmware. And I might have just pulled the power mid firmware update. And that would be incredibly frustrating. Particularly if it's killed it. Phew. So it turns out, ye olde, go and make a cup of coffee. It meant that I left it alone for long enough that the light has now gone green. Uh, the status is not updating anymore. The status is connected. That's all looking good. Now let's just check out the HDMI input. That's still not working, so I might just need to work out a different way of showing you the feed from this. Um, because it looks like it doesn't want to work through my HDMI capture thing, which is a problem. Live debugging whilst doing a video recording. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so the sort of good news is that, sorry, the sort of good news is that my laptop's also not working to the HDMI capture. So it's not a problem with the viewport. Ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story here is uh, never work with animals, children, um, or IT equipment, I think. Um, so the good news is that I do now have that working. Um, all it took was about half an hour of messing around, trying different cables, moving things around. And I think the problem is that um, all my stuff here runs through a HDMI switch, and the HDMI switch box is a 4K switching box and I think something was getting confused because the input and the output weren't lining up properly and it was trying to so I think the viewport was outputting in 4k but the capture device was only working in um, in HD in, in 1080p so anyway that now seems to be resolved you can see now that we have on the screen there uh, there feels like it's the wrong way but you know um, the the view so if I now go across to uh, two devices over here we're going to go to view view face we're going to change the view to me we're going to switch back over here and then you can see pretty much immediately 
Um, I'm now going to change that to the time scroll option and literally we'll see how long that takes to go. I'm going to click the button now. Wow. Almost instant. So clicking to go back to the, uh, the four view. Yeah, that's pretty damn quick. So there we are. Um, so I think that's probably it from me. Um, I've still got some of my hair left, although I have just pulled a significant amount of it out trying to work out what was going on there. Um, but that's uh, that's the Unify UFP viewport. Um, unboxed, connected, adopted, configured. And actually that's, you know, it's taken an hour and a bit with the messing around. So really it's half an hour's work, um, as long as you're not being stupid and trying to do things through clever um, video switches. So, uh, so anyway, thank you all for, uh, for watching the video. Thank you for taking the, taking the time. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.